looking back at the market performance mm. in uh, 2017 mm -hmm. and the first month of 2018. Mm. So what is your prospects of uh, Vietnam stock markets in this year? Well, if you look at what happened in 2017, the market had a really great year. The VN index was up 48%. So, so why did that happen? Right? So a few things. Um, the first was we had very stable macro. We had good GDP growth, but we had low inflation. We had a very stable currency. Uh, we had a good trade surplus. And all of that was very positive for the, for the, for the market. Uh, and that was reflected in the second thing, which was we had very good earnings. The earnings per share of the VN index went up 23% uh, in 2017, which is very, very uh, strong earnings. So that really helped the market to go up. Um, and then the third thing that really helped was we had a lot of new companies that got listed on the exchange that did very well. So um, if you look at like uh, Vietjet uh, was up, I think, 95%. Uh, Petrolimix was up, I think, 61%. So the new companies that came into the index um, also helped um, and helped generate a lot of interest for new investors to come into the market. So then we look at 2018. We say, okay, these things that happened last year, are they, can they still happen again in 2018? So the first thing I, I say, yes, I think um, on the GDP growth, um, we still have a forecast for low inflation, um, a stable currency. The dong has, has performed very well so far. And we think that that is uh, a, a good indication uh, for the market. Um, we're also forecasting for the, the 45 companies that my team covers more than 20% earnings growth for 2018. So the earnings growth still looks strong. And we have another pipeline of new companies that could get listed this year, the Techcom Bank, HD Bank, PV Power, PV Oil, many companies that can come into the market. So just like last year, can help uh, to boost up the index. Now, having said that, um, the VIN index went up 12% in January. And to be honest, it's too much. The market got a little overheated. Yes. Um, and it's similar to what happened in the US. The, the Dow Jones was up about 7.5%. One month, that, 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 that's too much. So when we had a little bit of negative news that maybe there might be some possible inflation coming into the US economy, it caused the US to go down. And because the Vietnam market was a little overheated, it's also gone down, right? But uh, that doesn't change our forecast or outlook for the year. At the beginning of the year, we were forecasting that the index could go up about 25% for the year, which would put it at about 1250 at the end of the year. That's about 2% a month. So went up 12% in January, so that's too much. So I, I think it was good that it's come back and we're on target for what we expect uh, for the full year. Yes, in your opinion, there are any areas can be improved to attract more foreign investors come to mm -hmm. uh, Vietnam stock markets? Actually, I think we're doing a really good job right now. So if you look at the net foreign investment that's come into the Vietnam market mm -hmm. over the last five or six years, it's usually been about two or three hundred million dollars a year. Back to 2016, it was negative. But in 2017, it was about 1.2 billion dollars of net inflow. So we, we're doing a, a pretty good job. And in 2018, just in the, the short time we've had, it's already about $600 million uh, net foreign buying that's come into the market. And even in the past week, um, when the market's been selling off because of concerns that money may flow back to the U.S. markets, we've had almost $200 million of net foreign buying. So right now we're doing a good job of bringing in uh, the, the foreign money. So I think stick to what we've been doing, which is stable macro. Mm -hmm. Keep the currency stable, very important, and um, provide new investment opportunities. So new listings, um, a big difference from now versus a year ago, mm -hmm. at the end of 2016, there were only 11 companies that had a billion dollars of market cap. At the end of 2017, there were 24. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more companies that the big fund managers can invest in, and it's making it a more attractive place for them to come to. So we need to continue to have these listings, divestments, uh, IPOs, is, is all very positive. Which stocks will be list the markets in this year? Ah. And um, 
you have any advice for investors? Sure, sure, okay. Well, there's a few sectors that I can highlight, I think. Um, we have, over the past few years, really liked the consumer and the retail sectors very, very, very much. Um, so if you, uh, if you look at it, you know, if we have low inflation and we've had 9% 9 9 retail sales growth, high consumer confidence, so companies like Mobile World, like FPT, uh, like PNJ, that do very well uh, with consumers, I think are well positioned uh, for another good year. Um, similarly then, we have some banks that have good consumer finance or retail banking operations that I, I have done well and I think are well positioned. So um, like VP Bank is the leader in, in consumer finance, right? You have HD Bank with the HT Saison, you have uh, Military Bank with uh, M Credit, um, ACB, uh, has a very strong uh, retail banking franchise, and they had 60% EPS growth last year, so I think those are good. Um, so that's one, one, another sector. And I think the, the final sector I might highlight uh, would be uh, the real estate, um, especially the real estate companies that are focusing on the mid-range of uh, affordable housing segments. So we saw, for example, um, Vingroup, which has traditionally been more high-end, is now shifting um, into the mid-range segment with the launch of the Vin City project. So I think that's very good for them. And then we have companies uh, like Datsan Group and Namlong Group that have traditionally uh, been leaders in this segment. And I think they're, they're also positioned for another good year because we're seeing very good absorption rates um, in condo sales this year. Yeah, thank you so much for joining with us for the interview. Sure.